Donald Trump made a very good point during Monday's debate that has not gotten the kind of attention that it deserves. He said that a nation that's carrying $20 trillion in debt ought to have the best of everything. For that much money, every bridge, tunnel, and road should be in tip-top shape. Our airports should be the envy of the world. For having borrowed and spent $20 trillion, our public schools should be gleaming, technologically current temples of world-beating learning. For what we owe, the war on poverty should have long ago been won. Since President Lyndon Johnson declared that war in 1965, we've spent $17 trillion on anti-poverty programs. Take that spending out, and our national debt all but disappears. Yet that $17 trillion spent fighting poverty yielded pretty close to nothing. The poverty rate in America in 2016 is little changed from the rate in 1965. In fact, it's edging up. No nation has ever borrowed and spent so much money. Never in human history has so much money been spent with so little to show for having spent it. If the CEO of a publicly traded company spent shareholder money as ineptly, irresponsibly, and unaccountably as the federal government spends the money it takes from us in taxes, the best consequence he could hope for would be to lose his job he would just as likely face going to prison. If we've learned nothing in 50 years, we've learned that the federal government spends staggering amounts of money on problems that it never solves. Trump was spot on to bring this up. He ought to press the point harder. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.